right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action out of the 140 pound weight division. Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 140 and one half pounds. He represents the Fight Club with a one and one record from New Jersey, Yun Kim. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the white trunks with the blue trim and weighing in at 138 pounds. Representing Henzo Gracie with a record of three and one from right here in New York City, Kendu Groot Irving. So here we go. As we roll along on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun, Ari Olagami, and Jason Strout, ringside at the Broad Street Ballroom, set for action. Three rounds at 140 pounds between Kendu Groot Irving on the left side of your screen, out of the Henzo Gracie Academy in New York City, taking on Yoon Kim from the Fight Lab in Cliffside Park. And here we go. Good strong block. And you can see Irving, a Nice height advantage, four inches taller than Yoon Kim, six feet tall compared to Kim's five foot eight. Yeah, he gets those legs up there pretty quick, doesn't he? Oh, but I'd like to see uh, Kim keeps his, keep his hands up a little taller, especially fighting the Irving with that height advantage, and Irving keeps bringing those head kicks up. Kim almost looks like he's kind of trying to box a little bit with the head movement side to side and the hands directly in front of his face. Irving coming in with a record of three and one. 19 years of age, taking on Yoon Kim, who is 27. And a low blow there. Knocks the wind out of Kim, but he doesn't even want the, the breather. He's right back to work. They're, mix, they're mixing it up with a lot of different techniques, using their punches, their kicks, and some tricky stuff. Superman punches. Nice job by Kim. Anticipating the body kick from Irving. Sticking in the knee to the midsection there. And this could be key for Yoon Kim getting inside that long reach of Kendu Irving. Boy, if those tall fighters get that distance with their hips, they can do a lot of damage with those knees. You see what I'm saying right there where Irving's hips are really far back. He's going to get a lot of leverage on those knees to drive up into Kim's midsection. Oh, good attempt by Kim to shut the knee down. And Looks like that one might have snuck in a little low. What do you think? Close, looks like caught, caught some of the waistline and some of the forearm of Yoon Kim. A nice slip by Yoon Kim. Could have been a devastating right from Irving, but Kim avoids trouble, and another blow ends up low. And low leg kick as Kendu tries to go up high. Yoon Kim goes low and takes the legs out from underneath Kendu Irving. Pretty impressive first round. You know, it's one of those funny things, Jason, you can never judge a book by its cover. Because Definitely you look not. At, you look at Ken Du Irving, slim and long and lean and and, and kind of kind of agile and sinewy in there. And Yoon Kim really seemed to kind of be he was well prepared for that for that first. He round. definitely was. I, I had a look over the corner before the fight started. I, I saw how calm Yoon Kim looked. He just was kind of chill in the corner, looking out in the crowd. He didn't seem too phased by what was going on or or the fact that he was about to fight. He just looked kind of at home in there, and, and it showed in that first round. He didn't seem to be out of control or you know kind of wasting any energy with the nerves he was very relaxed in there and but I like to see him keep his hands up a little bit higher especially like I said with the taller fighter like Irving and Irving's letting those hands and kicks come up upstairs pretty quick Irving affectionately known as Groot the character from the Marvel series the Guardians of the Galaxy he says that was not a name that he chose it was bestowed upon him so he's dealing with it <laughs> You know, my first name's Ariel, so I feel this pain. <laughs> Good. Good right hand by Irving. Now trying to use those knees to his advantage, those long legs of Kendu Irving, but Kim responds in kind. Hey, threw a combination on the inside there, which was smart. Irving kind of leaned forward in the clinch, and he kind of brought that uppercut up the middle. Snuck a hook around the corner. It's a push kick to the face, but he's game, isn't he? He's bringing it right back. A little bit of a brawl breaking out here in the second round. Oh, it looks oh. like that was a little bit of a headbutt there. <laughs> Kim, that was a very interesting. You Kim leading with the crown of his head. <laughs> yeah, not quite sure if that's a legal technique. 
He thinks we're fighting Lithway here in New York City. I guess so. This is modified Thai boxing. I mean, his hands were down by his cheek, and he just launched in with his forehead. And Irving starting to open up here with a combination. Got good boxing skills. Kim sitting down on his punches. Now will back off as Irving tries to go low. Round two of a scheduled three here at 140 pounds. Ken Du Irving making his Friday Night Fights debut. Wearing the white trunks with red, yellow, and blue design. Yoon Kim in the black trunks. Yeah, he has a lot of success. Irving has a lot of success from the outside when he's using those long punches. But then he kind of smothers them and takes a little bit of the steam off of them. A little bit of a looping left hand started that combo for Yoon Kim, Yoon Kim but it was effective. Justin Greskowitz, our third man in the ring, working hard in there. Sure is. Established pro fighter now turning to the officiating game. Good to have a man of his pedigree in there watching over these two young fighters. And there's the bell in round number two. Good action again. Expect nothing less on the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. It's a good stylistic matchup here between these two. One guy's kind of the boxer, one guy's kind of the clincher and kicker and Irving. Take a nice to see that. Two different styles fighting each other. Good right hand by Irving, followed by a good long jab. And there's that head movement I was talking about earlier in the first round where Kim kind of came out rocking side to side. That, and it works great when the guy's punching at you, but you, you duck down Ladies a little bit too low, you might catch a kick along Make the side sure of the to tell your friends who couldn't make it out tonight to happened. check out UFC.tv at 11 p.m. You know, to watch tonight's action. Make sure you tag us on Instagram when you do it, Kim at FNFMT. Friday Night Fights Muay Thai. You got it. All right, let's get back into the action, the third and final round. He was originally from Seoul, South Korea, now calls Little Ferry, New Jersey his home. And on the other side, a Jamaica Queens product is Ken Du Groot Irving. Looking for his first win on Friday Night Fights. He's three and one coming in. Yoon Kim, one and one. That's a heavy body kick Irving just threw. And Kim responds with a spinning back fist. And good oh, head movement as well. There goes that uh, head movement to headbutt. <laughs> Looked again like he was trying to yeah, lead with his face. Lead with the face, yes. That's the referee hasn't picked up I'm on that yet. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Irving now trying to establish those long knees again. Kim sticks the left hand in and moves back. Uh, he's kind of pushing his punches. I like to see him snap them a little bit more. Nice head movement again by Kim, avoiding potential disaster there. These guys are mixing it up, that's for sure. Good inside leg kick, strong block by Kim. And Kim's trying to put those combinations together. Looks like he's just running out a little, running out of steam a little bit there. Definitely comfortable with the, the boxing aspect of the game, but seems like when he get tied up in the clinch a little bit, he kind of gets a little bit lost. But he's, he's staying busy by staying active and turning and keeping the guy off of him, which is smart. Ooh, kind of banged his head there. On the Kim tried to come up into the midsection of Irving with a knee, and Kendu overpowered him, tossing him back down. But here's Yoon Kim trying to respond as we come down the stretch in round three. Irving, straight right hand. I see him launch some knees up the middle. Yuck. Kim working the body with the left and the right. Sneaks that right hand over the top. Look at that. I think he might have hurt Irving. Groot is in some trouble here as the seconds wind down in round three. Put that combination together. Wow, looking for the home run at the end. What a good fight. There's the bell. And a fantastic finish here between Ken to Irving and Yoon Kim. Impressive stuff. Sure was. A lot of back and forth action in that fight. Looked like Irving was going to close the show in style, but it was Kim that overtook the last 30 seconds of that fight. Yeah, kind of threw a little blitz out there, huh? Kind of find a little second wind to let those hands fly. May have stolen the round as well. See what the judges think about it. Let's take a look here. There's that head movement. Shoots that right hand over the top of his left hand. Doubles up the jab, tries to throw the right hand, but he just wasn't on balance for that. There was 
Irving kind of yeah, muscling Kim backward. Kim threw that knee and missed. Straight right got in there for Irving. But then down the stretch of that third round, Kim was able to exert his will and landed a couple of nice clean shots on Kendu Irving. We'll see if it makes a difference on the scorecards. It's up to the judges now. Yes. For the official particulars, we send it up to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All right. All three judges see this 27-30 in favor of, out of the blue corner, Can Do Root Irving. Jason, I don't know if those scorecards are indicative of uh how close this fight was. It's one of those things where maybe Irving did a little bit more in each round, but by no means dominated you and Kim. Well, I mean, it, it, they're judging it like they should judge a Muay Thai fight. You know, he was using more Muay Thai skills to, to score the points. He was using the knees and the dominant clinch and scoring with the kicks. Or Yoon was just kind of using the punches, but he was scoring damaging blows with the punches. So it, I think they got the right. They got the good. De they got the right decision, that's for sure. I can't argue with that. It was an entertaining fight. You know, I think what happens is we just kind of remember that last flurry by Kim and it kind of sticks in your head. So instead, the judges call it the way they see it, as it should be. 19 years of age, Kendall Ir Kendu Irving, affectionately known as Groot, is a winner in his Friday night fight's debut.